We have news now about an astonishing surgery. Imagine having a remarkable gift and then losing it. It's what happened to the legendary banjo player, Eddie Adcock, who suffered for years with debilitating hand tremors, and he tried everything to regain his amazing ability to play with lightning speed and precision. But it took surgery and an extraordinary group of surgeons to bring his hands back to life. You're hearing the sound of fine tuning, not a banjo, but the brain of a banjo player. There was quite a crowd at the window. Uh, you could hear the music all the way down the hall. It was just phenomenal. The patient, bluegrass musician Eddie Adcock. Legendary, fast picking freight train style. He quickly rose to fame. Eventually, he found his musical soulmate, Martha, married for 35 years, though called the Sonny and Cher of Bluegrass. It was Martha who first noticed the slight tremor in Eddie's right hand. When I noticed his skills were not what they were, and we were trying to figure out what was going on or going wrong, it was distressing because this has been his whole life. The diagnosis, something called essential tremor, involuntary trembling in the head or hands. It afflicts 10 million Americans. It was probably the most devastating thing I ever faced in my life. Doctors at Vanderbilt University Medical Center offered a possible solution, a procedure called deep brain stimulation. They would place an electrode into Eddie's thalamus and connect it to a type of pacemaker. When activated, a bolt of energy jams the tremor. We have seen the dramatic results of deep brain stimulation surgery before. It is the treatment that helped this patient with Tourette syndrome. But Eddie's case presented a new and unique challenge. I knew we could make the tremor somewhat better, but, but uh, to, to restore playing the way he is used to playing is a tall order. Eddie would not only have to be awake during the procedure, he would have to play the banjo helping doctors navigate to the exact spot in his brain, the precise millimeter that would restore his talent. Stimulating center track at one milliamp. Does it feel any better than before or about the same? I think it was better before. Better before, let's go to two now. Okay. We're gonna push it a little farther and see, let me know if it gets better or worse. For three and a half hours, doctor and patient working together. I knew when he had the sweet spot, and that was it. Later, they meet again well, good to, see you. to test the results. First, with the implanted electrode turned off, Dr. Nemat asks Eddie to take a simple writing test. Uh, boy, I wish I could do it. Next, the banjo. Then, Dr. Nemat activates the electrode using a remote control. Do you feel any tingling with yeah, that? I feel the tingling. So now that the stimulator's on, let me have you draw the spiral again and sign your name to it. Eddie's shaky signature Rich. replaced nice. by a world-class autograph. But in this case, it's all about the music. Just look and listen to the difference before and after. For Eddie, a second chance at sharing his gift. Just hours after this appointment, he is back on stage alongside his beloved wife, playing their own unique sound. I'm blessed. It's the most wonderful thing that's ever happened to me in my life. GMA Now just turned one. Happy first birthday. Happy birthday. Good morning, America Now. Good morning, America Now. Happy first birthday. Good morning, America Now. Good morning, America Now. now. Happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Get the third hour of GMA at abcnewsnow.com. Happy first birthday. GMA, GMA Now. Yeah.